M0FXB, welcome to my channel, playing around with WinLink for sending emails via HF Radio, the Yesu FT991A and the Vara HF Virtual Modem. So you need to download this Vara HF, which is here on the left, and then you also need to go to WinLink. Now, it is a paid for service, but they do do a very basic service for free. So click downloads here, download, and then download their program. Once you've done that, the two programs you get, one will, if you look here, I know it's very small at the bottom. You get this little checkered flag. So we'll bring that up, it looks like this. And then the other program, look like a yellow and will look like this, it's like a yellow and black. It's got some writing there. So Vara, here is your, here is your virtual modem. So settings, go to, look up your device manager. So right click here, device manager. Double click where it says COM ports. Now, if you added the correct drivers ETC, you will see something like this, Silicon Labs. And my COM is it's always the one at the, above, which is 15, okay? So we've got that. Now, sound card-wise, it should automatically, in the list, show your USB audio codec with your 991. We've got that on device input and device output speaker. So we've got microphone on the input, we've got speakers on the output, USB codec. And then to tune, now the, the tuning isn't uh, to tune your antenna, it's to, it's to, it's really, it's increasing and lowering the power so that you don't have your ALC too high. And they're recommending about a third of the way up. So if I click tune now, it will put my radio into TX and it will tune it and you'll see the ALC go up and down. Now let's move over to the WinLink program, which is this one here. What I'll do, I'll start it from scratch, double click the, there's the, there's the VARA HF one. I'll double click the WinLink, which is up here. Now, before you can do the settings, select here the drop down and select VARA HF WinLink. Then, in your settings tab, go to WinLink Express Setup. And up here, you put in your call sign, a password, and a, a email recovery. And at the bottom here, your grid square. And then if you want, you can have your, your personal identification. You don't have to. Mine's all on DMR anyway. So once that's set, then go to Open Session here at the top. Click OK. Once you get to this, if, you, if it's co configured correctly, it will connect to your radio straight away, which is what mine has done. But just show you the settings for the radio. Go settings here on the left. Go down to radio setup, like so. Then you, here you can select your radio, USB digital I've put, and the COM as well. And this is what made mine work. COM 15 and board rate 38400. And in my settings of my 991, if you hold down the F button, and go to menu number, let's see if I can find it, that's the wrong one. So push menu briefly, then go to menu 31, and I set the cat rate to 38400. Right, so, and then we've got the selections on the radio and it's connected, so we can click update. So I'll just show you then one more time, settings, Radio setup, 911, USB, comp, da, 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 update. Once you've done that, you get this new one. You hear the radio click where it connects. You start to get these messages to say that it's connected between you and the radio, but not the other station yet. So the next thing to do is at the top, select channel selection, and you get the, all this come through. Now you could update this via the internet or via the radio. I'm going to update via the internet. So you get the, you know, the latest ones that you may be able to connect to. And it, it, PA3GJM is coming strong, coming in strong for me. So what I'll do is, once it's finished updating, I'll double click the blue section here to connect into that. Yeah, I need to wait for it to finish. Right, it's finished, double click. And then now I can click start at the top here. And it will start to TX and try and connect. Obviously, your settings are important. I'm not seeing any ALC there, so I'm not sure if I need to change the USB setting. But it let it, let's just see it leave it to try and connect. The power we're on is 30 watts, a 9 to 1 balance. 
HF antenna at 20 meters and I've tuned it as well. When it does connect, all this will populate and this is when you can start sending and receiving emails. And it will pulse quite a few times. And it's a failure. Any advice is appreciated regarding better settings. So I still want to show you how to send emails. So once, once you've got it connected, what you do is you go to your, you click this little white thing here, create a message and say, I'm going to go M zero FXB at outlook.com for now. Remember I am learning this as I go along. So M zero FXB and I'll just put, Hello, Andreas. Okay, hello, A N D R E A S. Right, and there's a message. Then you post it to your outbox. Once it's in your outbox, so we've got quite a few there in your outbox. Yeah, that I've been just doing tests. Then, when you are, when it is, when you are success, successful with your connection, uh, here, so I know it's failed here. It will then automatically send out those emails. Now, obviously, the paid version is going to send them a lot quicker than the, than the free version. So that's it really, so that's me just trying to set it all up and get it all working. I am new to this, but I'm having fun. And you can see the 991 in the background and the possibility I have to change the, if I go back into the settings, I have to change the out to, to use the USB connection on the back. It's just a normal USB printer cable uh, connected to my PC. And you've seen the, you, of course you need the drivers ETC. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. That's Yesu FT991A. Um, having a go at Winlink, 7-3, all the best.